Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Magnificent Minis. Right <laughs> what? This is Mike, my lovely husband, being sassy. <laughs> my life. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm sorry for yelling. Okay. Gaming <laughs> is like what? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. All right. Yeah, I said two minutes ago. I know. My timing is off. So I just want to say hello to some of the people who are in chat. We've got Runkin, Stephen Hugh 01, Iron Axe 15, The Bug King, Beamington. See who else is with us. Looks like that's what I've seen so far. I'm really excited. Um, I want to tell you guys, I just, so um, Iron Axe was talking about this epic intro music. And it is epic because I got it specially produced just for this channel. Yay, look at that. <laughs> Hi, Iron Headed. Those are cute little, uh, little, um, emotes. Anyway, let me see. Hang on one second. I got a mute on my phone. Wait one second. Sorry, guys. Okay, perfect. So, this um, same producer, it's customanthems.com. He also produced a special like intro song for me, which you guys haven't heard yet, but Mike and I got to hear it. A few other people I know got to hear it and I'm so excited. So we got to hear the first um, version of it and unfortunately they um, mispronounced my name in the song. So we had to have that redone. Hopefully that will all work out. But other than that, I mean, I couldn't be happier with with the song. If that's all they need to fix, then I'm I'm super thrilled. So I know, right? <laughs> they said uh, Soshi instead of Shoshi. So those of you guys who know me well know that my name is always getting mispronounced, but okay. Let's click over to the, the mini painting. No <laughs> mispronunciation for the win. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The, the, he's, you know, he's good enough that it doesn't bother me, and uh, we'll, we'll get sure it all worked out. I'm not sure if Boot King is being, like, serious or not. Oh, he's a, he's a little troll. He's the Boot King. Like, what? The Boot King. The Boog King? Yeah, the Boot the King. King. No, the Boot King. Oh, I was mispronouncing it. Yeah, Mike's being <laughs> sassy. <laughs> See, I can direct sass at the audience, Hey, too. Glacier Eyes, <laughs> how are you? Okay, so we've got... This is the Spell Crow Mini that we talked about earlier last week. We talked about giving him away. So I thought I would just go ahead and pay him for you guys right away. And so you get all of the anticipation and maybe even get to help him pick out some colors and things. Yay. <laughs> He's like, okay, pro teenager. <laughs> yep. Touche. Okay. So I have him kind of Zenithil um, highlighted. He's got sort of like a PG undertone, but we're gonna we can completely change that. I want to see if um, what kind of skin tone would you guys like to see me paint him in? It can be a natural skin tone. It can be an unnatural skin tone. So um, I'm gonna let you guys throw out some suggestions, and I'll pick the one that speaks to me. Okay. While you're doing that, do you want to talk about what you're gonna do with it? What am I gonna do with it? What What's mean? happening tonight? Oh, the, the giveaway. <laughs> giveaway. We're going to give him away. That was the other thing. So, um, everybody, yes, while you guys um, tell me some suggestions for skin, um, I'll tell you guys how he can be won by one of you guys. And meanwhile, I'm going to cut this mold line right off right there before we get too far into the painting. I thought I cut everything off already. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we, um, we're going to let followers bid on him and you'll be able to buy tickets with your points. So you can do exclamation point points. Yep. It's a, there's the ticket raffles open right now. You can buy up to a hundred tickets. Yep. See how many gold stars you have. If you want to spend all your tickets on him, you can, 
I mean, you know, I only do, you know, giveaways about once a month, so, you know, you have plenty of time to earn plenty of tickets for the next one if you want to use them all. You're just going to buy one Bug King, is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gold stars with the Ness on the end. Well, no, it's the, when you buy tickets, it's exclamation tickets, not oh, tickets. Oh, tickets, sorry. With a capital S. Okay, with a capital S? No, it's not the capital S. I'm just <laughs> emphasizing that. <laughs> I have so little you need to stream more Tigris. Did you just start watching me? I think I've... Yeah, you need to... I stream three times a week. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, that's okay. Um, there will be other giveaways, and you'll be able to save your points for those. So... Um, I am curious though, Tigress, are you in the America? Because I know that most of my stream times are like 7 to 9 a.m. on Monday and from 2.30 to 4.30 on Friday. And other than that, you know, so if I, when I space things out, people roughly have the same chance to enter because not a lot of people can watch all three streams. Let's see. Aw, the Bug King, he sent a gift to Tigress Dark. Now she can buy a ticket. Yay! That's another thing you guys can do. You can gift your stars if you have a lot and you are feeling generous. Super nice. Aw, Kuzadan, thank you so much for the cheer. It's awesome. All right, so nobody's giving me suggestions on skin tone. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, step forward, step forward. You guys are gonna get a bear model. <laughs> I'll, I'll paint stump something that isn't well, skin tones. Well, while they're doing that, I just like to say that when we're doing our audio tests before these, the we do the streams. You know, I ask her to do some voice tests so we can make sure we get the audio levels right. And you know, she always kind of talks her normal voice. And then as soon as we get into the stream, she's like really loud and energetic. And so then I got to readjust all the audio settings that I did 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it's not, it's why I'm here, but it's Red, still Red brown music. skin tone. I like that idea too. Crazy Zanger style. I don't know what that means. Reddish brown. Somebody else said reddish brown. Electric blue. Ooh, I like that idea too. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome, Bug King. Thank you for that cheer. Nice big one. Woohoo! Did they bounce a little bit? <laughs> um, I did get some cheer motes, but then I found out that affiliates don't get cheer motes. So I was like, hey. Ooh. Yeah, so we're still working on partner. Um, I am, I've got 84 sub points right now. I'm really close to 100 sub points. So as soon as I get to 100 sub points, I'm gonna go ahead and apply again and cross your fingers that hopefully maybe they'll take notice because that's that's a good amount for an affiliate. It is also September, so you do get half off your subscriptions this month. And our 30, um, what was it? The 24.99 subscription level, not only do you get the three emotes that I've gotten from my channel, but you also get a 30 minute coaching from me. And I've got a little list already of the people who've signed up already. And I'm going to be contacting everyone very soon to, you know, line up the coachings. Everybody's going to get a 30-minute coaching who did that. Yay, except that it didn't blow up the cup enough. You'd love to do... Oh, there was a hurricane. Yeah, that's okay. See, Glacier Eyes is going to get a coaching. He's got the cat hair emote. <laughs> that's my favorite emote. Yay, tickets. Okay, so we've heard reddish brown, so let's go with that. Let's go with that. I think that's going to be really lovely. I'm just trying to think. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's do the shadow colors in this brown color. This is Umbral Umber by P3. And we're just going to base it. And we're covering up some of our zenithal lighting a little bit. But do you see how it thins out a little bit? Just a little bit, like three or four times there. By the way, I forgot to say thank Tim Fizz for following oh, before Tim the stream started. I wrote your name down. I forgot to say hello and thank you so much for following and welcome. 
So yeah, that's awesome. So you can see that having that undercoating, it, it's naturally shining through and giving us some natural highlights already. But since we're going with more of a reddish, reddish skin tone, we might not even have that after after the end of this. Photo makers, oh wait, sorry, that does not seem to be registered. What you try to? Oh, you tried to give it. I think it's give. Got it. I, I don't know if it's give or it. give. It's a different command, though. I know that. Yeah, I can lower the music a little bit. It's a little bit loud. Should be better now. Ooh. You do here. give a give mob and chomp chomp. You do have to be a follower to to enter. So maybe you don't. Maybe you aren't a follower yet. Oh yeah. Um. Gimab and Chomp Chomp. Yeah, Just you get must. Uh, a bowl for me. Yeah, these are, these are for, the fridge. for followers. Fridge. And um, but you're welcome to follow and watch, and maybe you'll win a future giveaway. And some of my awesome followers are giving away some of their stars, being generous. You're uh. Especially trying to, to, this is a thank you, thank you giveaway basically for all the people who have supported the stream and been loyal watching um, for so long. Look at that, see oh, that glaze right over that skin tone looks really nice. It shines through. Nice shadows here and here. Are you gonna? Sorry. Say, don't eat. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Make sure to mute your mic, Mike. Mic, Mike. This part we want nice and smooth. Push that, those colors into the, into the shadows and the recesses. If anybody is asking questions right now, please put at Shoshi, Shoshi's Minis or at Photomaker because there's so many people checking their ranks and checking their stars and everything that it's, um, I'm going to miss it if, I'm, if I even blink. I don't see anybody asking anything at the moment, so that's good. Hey, Razar. We're doing a giveaway today, so you can tell, like, people are checking. We're going to give away this Minotaur that I'm painting right here, so you'll get to watch him being painted. you get to make some decisions on what kind of colors and stuff we're going to be doing for him. People chose a reddish, reddish brown skin tone for him tonight. I really like, see how well that, that's just glaze on, or paint on top of glaze. That's all that is, and that just looks nice just as is. So that's a little speed, speed painting tip for you. Are you getting the mounted heroes, Runkin? What did, wait, 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 what did I miss? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Talagar777. How's it going? Blaze on top of the, um, the priming. And by glaze, I just mean thin paint in this case. I'm not being particularly 
discerning right now. I'm just getting getting that first coat down. We definitely have to do some more paint on him. What do you guys think? Minotaurs are from Greece, am, am I right? What? Yeah, they've been doing, um, yeah, they're, they're in the middle of it now, right? You wanna say? funny how Bowden's got you started painting miniatures and like after you painted those first like dozen or so you haven't painted any of our Bowden's miniatures. Well, you can tell people that. That's fine. Yeah, I just did. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I painted a bunch for Bones and I sold a bunch of them. Once I made back my money from my Kickstarter, that's when I wasn't as as um, motivated to paint them all. Look at All right, so there's a little what we call tea staining going on on this pectoral muscle right here. So that means that the paint was drying faster than I was blending it. It's okay though. It will all look good by the end of this. You think it's done? Nice. All right, here you go. <laughs> Honey. A t on top of paint? Wait, what did Iron Headed say? Paint on top of paint. Oh, yes, I did. Paint on top of paint. Well, I did use paint for the for the skin color, that first coat. All right, I'm making the legs like solid brown because I would assume they're gonna be the darkest part of his legs. I explained before, my brain doesn't work right <laughs> when I'm painting my, it doesn't wanna talk and paint at the same time. Yeah, that's okay. There we go. Ooh, we got a follower. All right. Jamez, 382, thank you so much for following. Woohoo! A little bit of hype for those guys new followers. Yeah, this is our giveaway mini. So if you're watched, if you watch for the entire stream, you'll have enough for one ticket for sure. And we have, we're going to do it at the end of the, at the end of the stream, we're going to give them away. And if people are really close, we'll top you up a little bit. What? Bug King said that if we they all wait, well if we all troll pro well if they all troll, I won't seem so bad. <laughs> what? Quote, well if we all troll proto maker won't seem quite so bad. Oh. As okay. in I'll get away with more if they troll you. Mm, oh I get it. But that's not our goal. No. I crossed the line from comic relief into giving Shoshi too hard of a time. It then would be it's bad. Not good. Yeah. No. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He's well trained. So. <laughs> I'm well trained. <laughs> okay. Here's the other thing you don't know about Shoshi, probably. No, no, no. <laughs> is that you cannot insult her. Nope. If you no, get no, you can't say it that way, or they're gonna take that as a challenge. That is okay. not true. It's just Mike, okay? So we're gonna frame this <laughs> as it's just Mike. Okay. Because <laughs> he's my husband. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. You can tell now. Okay. No, no, you have to tell it. You tell it best. Let's just say I have learned not to get into a insult war with Shoshi. <laughs> Jay Morris one twenty nine just started following. Wait, where'd my pen go? Fall down. Oh, it's right here. Welcome. One twenty nine. Woohoo. Alright, I'm gonna I want some cool colors. I think I like this African shadow. It's sort of like a purpley browny color. Sort of um pink. Not dark enough for what I want, but dark color. Awesome color. Arbuckle's brown. It's um one by the fantasy in games, so it's a little thinner. But it's um it's a reddish, burgundy, beautiful color. Look at this. We're gonna put that on his hooves down here. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, they want the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a very nice color. I really like this color. Very nice and and um, pigmented and deep, 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 beautiful burgundy. Oh, before I keep painting this, I want to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on. You might dig this. This is a commission I've been doing I'm not quite done with it. It is the Trader Librarian in Cataphracty Armor. So he is very close to being done. I really don't have too much to do. Maybe just a little bit more work on the cloak and some stuff on the back here. And then a little bit more work on this axe. But And then just a little bit of gold. Just little details and stuff that I gotta pick out. But yeah, he's, he's a commission. And he's turning out very nicely. Also, I, you guys know that I was working on Salamanca. You like his summon? You would have had it made it a bit more blue. Let me look. Yeah. I made it blue down here. There's more blue in that area. And then I was trying to get my highlights high enough. So that way when I, I could, you can always shade down by highlighting up as more hot more difficult so I guess I could make it more blue still hmm suggestions okay and then the Salamanca let me get her over here for you this is the body and you can see I've been working on the legs we've we worked on the whole leg the last time we've streamed I've got her little purse glued on this is not glued on yet. This is her arm and um, that comes off. So I've got to finish that with a little voodoo doll on it. And there's a whole bunch of like filigree gold that's going to go on her arm here. And then um, she's mostly, she's mostly done. I really, really am happy with how her legs came out. Yeah, she's Salamanca by Aradia Miniatures. She is, the concept art was by um, Stefano Moroni, who is uh, the owner of Aradia Miniatures, and he was sculpted by George Georgie. Ted. Here it is. I don't know who all has seen this yet, but here's her face. And you can see how that's going to go in there. He's just got the most, I mean, this is... And I've said this before on, on the last stream. This is the best face I've ever painted. And I'm super happy with it. So that goes there. And then she also has 
a cloak. So she's got this purple cloak. And so that goes in here. And it basically like that. Can you see? It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, the smirk is just great. And that's on the sculpt. So all I did was bring that out. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah. It's a shame though because you kinda have to look at her from below because her hat covers up her face. I mean you're kinda when you look at her from straight on, you can just see like this. But that's she's coming along very well, very quickly. Iron X says the struggles you've been spreading with that mini on Discord have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> I've been posting uh, all the, the difficulties. Oh, let me show you one thing real quick. So I, what I was struggling with before, let me point this out with, um, with the brush. Right here, between the green and the purple, there's like a, it's like a brown tone. And I had talked to um, Luis, um, I think it's Luis Mendoza. I'm not sure if that's for sure his last name. But he's an amazing Spanish painter that just is mind-blowing. He can paint anything. And I asked him because I was having trouble with this blend in between here. And he said you need to have this, what he called a Terminator color. I'll be back. A Terminator color ends where the, the other one, and kind of it's like a bridge, I'm guessing. And so the bridge between green and purple is basically this green with some black in it. And... What I figured out what he meant was, because he mostly speaks Spanish, so he didn't explain exactly why. He just said, this is what you do. But the why is because in order to get tr colors that are difficult to transition, you want to desaturate. And you can desaturate two ways. You can desaturate with white, and you can desaturate with black. Both of them will, will um, help you transition. So... That was my struggle, was trying to get that smooth enough. And it looks like I got a couple more details to fix on the legs. But this is really close to being, the, I mean, her legs there are really close to being done. And then I also kind of added some burgundy in the shadows and behind, behind her legs as um, sort of like a unifying, a unifying color. What, more Hammer Mini was that? The more Hammer Mini was the... The, it's actually a forge world and he is a traitor librarian in cataphracty armor so he is basically being corrupted by the steaming and I haven't figured out I mean I'm, it's, I'm leaving it up to the viewer to decide what chapter he is I'm guessing some kind of ultramarine since he's wearing the blue but he could be anything right traitor Yeah, and since everybody, yeah, thank you. Everybody's buying tickets so much. Definitely just um, put at show she's minis or at proto maker if you want a question answered by me. Okay. It's fine. I'm still catching them. Okay, good. I'm gonna switch. Well, okay. Um, so we want a ruddy brown. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Arbuckles brown into the into the shadows and see what happens. Got some of the base brown there already. His muscles are crazy cut. Get wrecked. Oh wait, yeah. no, that's not the ripped, not wrecked. <laughs> Call that traitor marine and alpha legion guy. Alpha legion? Oh, okay. Going to iron headed. Nice. Alright, so this is not the head that I want. Yeah. Okay. 
We're switching back to P3. Since I was using P3, it really doesn't really work too well to mix um, scale 75 with P3. They don't like to play nice together. And I think that's why I was seeing a change in my in my surface. So I'm going back. Umber Lumber was our base coat, so I want to go back to this. This is Sanguine Base. Yeah, that's much, much better. Now, it looks weird right now, but you'll see I'm going to change it to um, more of a red in a, in a little bit. I still do like that burgundy, though. That is a nice color. Are you swole, bro? Yeah, exactly. He's swole. <laughs> Juice. Here, frantic keyboarding. What's going on? <laughs> I'm just typing to somebody. Oh. And it's not about anything on the stream. Okay. We'll leave some of this because I decided that the light, I just now decided that the light source is going to be over here. See, we took care of that tea staining real quick with that base coat. Do, do, do. Not wait for you guys to be able to hear the theme song that we're gonna have. I'm so excited about it. What is everybody painting tonight? Do we have any any photos to look at? You can whisper them to the Bug King or Proto Maker, and if they are nice, they'll post your link. I'd like to see. So I think I'm going to make his loincloth here blue since he's going to be more red. I think that'd be, or purple. We can make a purple too. What do you guys think? Any ideas? I'm going to let you guys decide. Green is another option. Oh, I do like that purple hoof though. I'm gonna keep this one. That same color. That looks awesome. Green to you? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So I've got a project kicking around in my head. I'm not sure if I want to do it once it gets cooler or not. What? <clears throat> so, you know, Starfinder came out, and so I'm thinking about... Explain what Starfinder is, because not everybody here plays RPGs. Starfinder is a role-playing game, sci uh, science fantasy. So imagine it's kind oh, of a mix of Star Wars, Shadowrun, Star Trek, 
um, kind of all that stuff mixed together, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, but much simpler than like Shadowrun. It's more of it's a D20 system, role playing game. Like Pathfinder. Huh? Like Pathfinder. Yeah, I like Pathfinder, but different. I'd say they're related games, but they definitely are very different games. Um, so anyway, you know, I GM Starfinder Society, which is their organized play for that. So conventions and game stores and stuff. And I was thinking about building, I've already got some of the components to basically build into my GM screen, a display that I could send images to of like the characters they're talking to and the ships and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah. So I've been looking a little bit at screens and things, but they're not cheap, even for like a seven inch or a 10 inch. No, we don't, yeah. You just use your iPad. No, <laughs> no, that's, I need my iPad because that's how I, how I have all the books and stuff. Okay. Fisher Eyes needs an airbrush to prime like you do. Yeah, oh my gosh. Um, so Salamanca was the first time I've ever used my airbrush to like seriously base coat and it was such a game changer. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I've, I've played around with my airbrush. I mostly just prime with it. I've never really utilized it to the extent that I, I could have. And I am a converted. I couldn't believe how nice it looks, especially her face. Got some teeth, I just realized. Painting his teeth. One color. He, is he starting to be the colors you guys are were imagining him? I'm hoping. Go ahead and... Highlight. So mostly brown back here. We're gonna just highlight it with the sanguine base. Hey! Serial killer too! It's been a while. Hey! Thank you so much. How have you been? Hopefully painting lots. Yeah, this color's perfect. Good. Yay. Running out of sanguine base though. I'm gonna have to put more on my palette. I like how he's sort of um, like a flesh tone back up up in here, like back here. We're gonna smooth all that out with the actual flesh tone in here. Just a second. I'm actually, I think I might try this leather brown. See what happens, cause it's light enough. It might look good. It's by Army Painter, right? I don't use our bean painter a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that nice tan. Oh yeah. That was perfect. Blending it right onto it. I um, got some coaching from Karol Rudik. He's from Poland. He's an amazing painter and sculptor and he's got a Patreon that I went ahead and backed and at the, if you pay at the $60 level you can get like a one hour coaching with him and so I went ahead and did that because he's phenomenal he's a phenomenal artist and um, I showed him the bus that I did from tiny leds the, the um, those were the bus that I did that on stream the Breaking Bad, the Breaking Bad bus, and he has he does not paint the same way as I do at all. He's got a much more controlled and smooth blending, old school style, you know, very European as well. And he said the way I do it is very wet and wet, and I mix it, basically mixing the paint right onto the mini. And he said he's like you're using you're using the mini almost like as if it were a real painting, like a canvas. And he said, 
He didn't say there's anything wrong with that. He just said it's just different than how he paints. Um, but he, he could see that's kind of the, the style I was going for. Ooh, I really like how that brown kind of just melded everything together nice. Definitely looks reddish brown now. Nice skin tones. Nice skin tones, yes. Let's see, Glacier Eye says, what airbrush and compressor do I use? So I have a badger. I have a, ba I have a couple, I, I have three different badger brushes, but the compressor is also badger, and I can't remember which one it is. Um, I really love them all. The Patriot 105 is was like my main workhorse for a long, long time. And then I recently got a special, it was an, ex an Adepticon exclusive brush that they were selling last Adepticon. And I got it for $100 and they donated the proceeds to a charity. And that was part, that was how the, the that's how their booth fee works. Like if you go to Adepticon, part of your booth fee or whatever is that you've got to donate a certain amount to charity, which is really cool. So they've got the, I think they've got a charity set up. Anyway, so the, the brush is basically a hybrid of the 105, the Patriot ex, um, ex, the Extreme Chrome, Chrome is it, yeah, the Chrome Extreme and then the the Renegade Chrome. So it's, it's a hybrid of those three brushes. And it's got the best parts of each of the three. And I've, I've loved it. It's just been a really amazing brush. And Serial Killer says they're good, just swamped with class, haven't been able to paint in a month. Oh no, psychology degree in May. That's awesome. Taking 15 hours of classes, that's a lot. Woo! Yeah, um... That's a long time to not have been painting, too. I can, I can imagine. Okay, I need to make sure to get back here. Because I'm bad about painting one side of the mini for you guys and like neglecting the other side and then leaving all the boring parts for later I'm highlighting back here with the brown um, but I don't know if I want to keep it that way we'll see we might need to glaze some reds over that Lots of them wet and wet. Okay. Since we are kind of quote unquote speed painting him for you guys, um, You are getting to see the all the kind of shortcuts that I take a little bit. Okay, we need a lighter color. No, we don't. We need let's try this red. This is really bright, so I don't know how this is gonna look. Might need to dull it down. Might mix it with my sanguine a little bit. Whew. Okay, let's try this and see what happens. Ooh, I like it. We're just gonna glaze it. That's kind of cool looking, huh? You like the way the color's coming? Good. I'm happy.
We can do more reds on the back. It's as if he's got sort of his own little hide. There we go. So if, if you guys won this mini, what would you use it for? Would you try to run a D&D campaign with him or just put him on a shelf? What it, Should I put him on a gaming base or should I put him on a display base? It's going to be easy either way. Falcon Punch Drunk is here. Yay. How are you? How much are tickets? How much are tickets? 20 points per ticket. 20, 20 gold stars. Yeah, and you got to be a well, Falcon is, so. No biggie. Take just a tiny bit of this Midland flesh. It's sort of like a mid, mid-level flesh color. And again with the glazing. On the apex of the muscles and not all the muscles either By having the red on the the darker side, do this a bit more red. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. matter oh no Coming along well. I think I'm pretty happy so far. A little bit of highlights to the abyss over here. Um. That is a bit of a jump, so if I do the brown on top. Yeah, um, Iron Axe, I guess you gotta watch more. Don't yeah! Watch <laughs> We've got uh, giveaways once a month or so, so you get a lot of time to win the next one if you don't win this one. Atomic Mom says hello. Atomic Mom, hello! 
Atomic Mom, are you in Australia? Or are you in the UK? Because it'd be late, it'd be late if you're in the UK. And Iron Axe says, I'm not a mini painter, just friends with Shoshi. Just decided to stick around for this one. That's good. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> yes, Atomic Mom is in Australia. Awesome. We actually, Atomic Mom, you might like this. Um, we, I'm going to be doing, I don't know when yet. I still need, I need to schedule it. But we've already done one and it was really successful. But we did an Oceanic stream where I got up at like, or actually it was 3 a.m. for me and then I had the stream at 4. And so that was like on a, on Friday. So it was Friday night for you guys. And it worked out great. And everybody had a lot of fun. We did a, we had an Aussie streamer guest with me, D-Day Gaming. Yay! Oh, we got more than one Aussie. Awesome. It is, what is it, seven? So that means it's like midday for you guys or getting close to it. Is that right? Afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. Normally you host D&D &D Fridays, but you'll see what date. Yeah, I'll make sure to like give everybody plenty of advance notice. It's and up. it might actually be easier for me to do it on a Saturday because I have stuff going on in the morning on, on Saturdays that if I stay up on Friday, super early it'll kill me for the next time. It's 11 a.m. for her. Oh, 11 a.m. now? Yep. Okay. Not bad at all. But yeah, I have so I have lots of Aussie friends, Aussie mates, and they they're very happy when I can make it um, make an oceanic stream. And then also I have people in California and the UK that watch it as well. Then, well, not California. What was it? Um, thinking Asia. They're the ones who couldn't hardly ever watch me unless I'm streaming at a special time. Okay. He's got... Oh, we completely forgot his hands. For some reason I thought they were gloves, but they're not. Chilean streamer, Roxgal, that's awesome. Chile. I like to know where people are from. I have friends worldwide now. And I'm going to paint those big talons he's got, the same color as his hooves. Ah. That looks better. It looks better now that he has hands. <laughs> You're avoiding housework and bookkeeping. Oh! Girl, I cannot handle good bookkeeping. It's like my least favorite thing. But you know what's funny is when I have to do bookkeeping, you'll never see a cleaner house. Because <laughs> I procrastinate. <laughs> Wilhelm Kingspeak, hello. Yes, handy. Definitely. So those of you guys who saw me do my Spellcrow Miniatures box opening, and you can go back and look at the VOD and see 
how this guy was put together. Velcro Minis was kind enough to send me a box of their stuff to review and take a look at and I liked a lot of it and so I thought I would share it with you guys. Okay, I'm, I'm wanting more red on him again. Just to... Make those volumes come out. Here we go. It's just a thin amount of red just brushed pushed over it. And it's P3, so it thins really nice, layers super, super nice. That's a little bit too much, so I gotta take it off with the brush. But the P3, it blends so nice because it's got a little bit longer drying time than some other paint brands. And that's that's one reason why I like using them so much is they, they, they're blendy. Very, very blendy. See, he's got personality that we think might looking good. Okay, we need to do, we need to do a little bit more in his face on this side. See that purple in here with the eyeball. really dark purpley color that we have. Ah, I just blurbed it all over his face. There we go. Clean it on the inside of his mouth. We'll go back in and get some of the other areas in a minute. his fingers a little bit. I need to go in there with an even darker color. Yeah, not dark enough. It's, it's dark, but it's not dark enough. light brown on the wooden handles here. Because that will contrast with the skin because the skin is dark now. So 
we need other things to be to be bright. And that also goes with the, the underpainting is white also, so we'll keep it, make sure it stays light. Now, this is a regular sword. Those of you guys who know me know swords are not my friend. Or not swords, swords are axe, but it's, I'm still not very adept at blades, but I will do, I'm gonna do a true metallic blade, blade, and hopefully it will look okay. And you'll get a good example of how we can make steel look like steel. I might have to run upstairs and get my clear blue, but actually I've got blue ink, I can use that instead. Okay. Now, horns are also light. Um, because we're using a limited palette, we're gonna, let's see, I'm gonna base them with this brown. And I think, can you do me a quick Google mic of, um, Min just do minotaur and see what color like how horns look do they look like they're dark to light or light to dark there you go you have to tell me uh well it's a mix there's white there's black there's tan okay what do the tan ones have do they have dark ends or light ends um This one, maybe, I don't know. Good enough, I can figure that out. Look at this guy. Huh. Pretty cool. Throw that link up there so people can see it, maybe. We can all see. Tell me what you guys think of the horns on this dude. On actual burls, most start off lighter. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the dark tips. So that's that confirms what I already wanted to do. Awesome. Thank you, Tiger Stark. Um, give Tiger Stark um, five points. We do um, extra points here, extra credit, as we say in the class for um, helpful students. People who are helpful to the stream and, and chime in and stuff when I need advice. Queens of Tabletop started following. Where was it? I missed it. Oh, Queens, Queens, Queens of, of Tabletop. Tabletop. Thank you so much. Welcome! This is the mini that we're painting tonight. It's a minotaur. Definitely a tabletop mini if you're looking for one. From Spellcrow Miniatures. And they have all kinds of good stuff. Ooh, just bonk the camera. There you go. Okay, so we've got a base color here, and then it's make sure it's on enough. Okay, let's figure out. Do we decide on green for his loincloth? Is that what we want? Um. While you guys figured that out, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to base coat with pig iron, the ax blades. 
this pot is about done. I need to get some more. Get some more pig iron. And I'm just going to do a thin coat of the pig iron on the whole blade here. I'm not paying attention to light and dark just yet, but I will. the end of this handle too. other side and I see some spots that I'm gonna eventually paint gold too but that's okay to have the metal undertone it's not not gonna hurt it Do another coat of the uh, that tan on his horns so that we can make sure to get that nice base coated. good base coating brush right here this is those bomb wick bomb you can see how like it's it's curled up on me and so I don't use this except for like base coating anymore these are the ones from slow fuse he's still working out the kinks I guess uh, I told him I said I wouldn't be able to recommend these until you know because this literally curled on me like the second day I got it unfortunately but it's a great base coating brush. Okay. Let us see what is next. Okay. I would like his arm, um, what do you call those? Epaulets? What do you call arm things? Bracer things, right? Yeah. This is brass balls. So, I want to show you face it in brown. The umber umber. Bam braces. 
That's the official term. What is it? What are they called? Bam braces. Bam. Bam braces. Bam braces. Nice. Oh, Rune Kid gets a po gets five points. Thank you for telling us about that. <laughs> this is a definitely the stream where you want to earn the extra credit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, where's that umbra umbra? Here it is. Any more? This is going to get base coated brown, and you'll see why here in a minute. We're going to put the brass over the top. Everybody's checking. Oh. No, Atomic Mum, I do not paint miniatures. Yeah, I he, suck. he, well, you, I don't, don't suck, yeah, not, stop it. It's just not good. He's fine. And I have other hobbies that I'd rather do too. He's got a lot of stuff, yeah. Like if I painted miniatures, like do anything besides like just like my character for RPGs, I could maybe paint in the time that you paint ten models, it would I could paint one. <laughs> and it would look not even a tenth as good. <laughs> well, I've been working at it for a really long time. Yep. yep. He wasn't that much better than me about 10 years ago. Even worse? Right. Yeah, 10 years ago when we first were dating, you know, you at least helped me make my stuff not look bad. Mm-hmm. So He's good. just a smidge colorblind, and so his, his colors would be just a little bit off sometimes. So apparently I sound like Atomic Mum's husband. You do? <laughs> the American version? I suppose. How do you know her husband's not American? I don't, I don't. That's very possibly... I actually don't know any Australian women that have... that have married American men, but I know a few American women that have married Australian men. So Atomic Mom, do you um, do you game or do you what kind of what kind of miniatures do you paint? I uh, I find that I have very few Australian female painter friends, and I'm always looking to meet more because it can be really fun. He's a true Aussie. <laughs> you paint uh, GW, Forge World mostly, and you paint for your hubby and son. Oh, that's nice. I bet they like that. That's great. I never got into painting... Um, GW too much as a gamer because the price point was so high all the time and so when we when Mike and I were dating he got me into War Machine and Hordes and that was my that was my first intro into into war games and then he would always beat the pants off me every single time and it's this uh we eventually are, are also our press ganger um 
and and the scene died too so there was like a multiple reasons why we ended up getting out of it and then not too long a few years ago after I got the bones Reaper bones Kickstarter I got back into mini painting big time and here I am <laughs> everybody's checking points you guys we don't have a whole lot of people watching tonight, so that's really good. It's going to be really easy to win for you. Yeah, there's only 12 entries so far. That's not that's how many tickets there are, but it's how many entries there are. Yeah, that's great. Max Payne 39 says, hey there. Hey, Max Payne. How's it going? No problem, Rockscale, 99. No one anointing, Rockscale. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm uh, showing everybody. We're base coating all the bronzes and the golds and everything with this brown color to start. So once I get all that tedious part done, we're going to get to do some fun parts. Okay, and I'm just going to take that purple and do another coat on his hooves again. Yeah, I like that. Hey Apollon Apollonios Apollonios one. Just uh keep hanging out in the stream. Hey Demo, yeah you missed a little bit. It's okay. You're here for the important part, right? Give him a little bit more red. Demo is also from Australia. We've got a few of you guys in here tonight. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. No, you can't say it. They have to say it. There <laughs> <laughs> we go. Natalie's is here. Welcome. All right, what's next? Oh, we were gonna work on those blades. Oh my goodness, okay. This is the tricky part. I need a special blue, hold on. Hold a blue. This is sort of like an inky blue, so it'll be perfect for what I wanna do. A bit laggy, yeah. There we got it, oi, oi, oi. See, Lantern by Light. We got a few people here. That's awesome. <laughs> Yay! Become Ozzy. It'll be worth it. <laughs> I, don't, I can't stand on my head. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I've got this blue. That's... And I want, actually... Um... I want a different blue, though. Hmm. I need a more matte color. Let's try this black leather. More of a reddish, so it'll be okay. It'll mix well with the others. <laughs> Yay! Come to Australia, and we'll all go watch the footy. Nikki Coles is hosting you with 31 people. Nikki Coles, aw, thank you so much, girl. How are you? Wow. Look at the love. Mad love for Nikki Coles, guys. Everybody give her a follow. Lots of hearts to her. If you have the heart emoji. Woohoo! Yeah, any kind of heart is good. 
<laughs> Mad love. Hey. What have you been doing, Nikki? We have a we have to get together soon so we can plan out our super secret surprise thingy that we're going to be working on soon. <laughs> Look at the hype. Awesome. Nikki and me and Electric Eve have, uh, have a special thing planned. We just haven't got a date yet. But we will soon. We do, yeah. We're doing this as a giveaway, this Minotaur, Nikki. He is um, from Spellco Minis. And so anybody who wants to enter can just buy some tickets. So you're welcome to join and, and, uh, and, and buy a ticket as well. I'm adding a little blue over the top of this red and it, it actually kind of tints it into a dark 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 purple which is perfect kind of almost reads as black which is also perfect look at that thank you so much we just been painting him just on the stream um okay so now here we go this is that purple that I was telling you guys about. And I'm just putting in little bits of shadow areas here. Um, I have, am fully admitting that I do not paint blades super well, so I'm gonna attempt to blend this the way it needs to be blended so it looks good. But no promises. I might have to um, completely paint this blade off stream for you guys so it looks decent. If I do not finish in this stream, I'm going to go ahead and finish it off stream in an, at another time. And I'll still send it to you guys. If you win this and you live on the other side of the planet, I would um, just ask if you guys can split shipping with me. It should only be like seven dollars, even if it's going to Australia. So that'll that'll be the max that you'd have to split, which is not bad for a Shoshi's mini. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to save this this blade for off stream. You can already see that it's. Well, it's not so bad again. Being hard on myself. That never happens. No. I'm using transparent colors, though. Baby Six Saw is, is auto hosting. That is Nikki's husband. Did you guys have a good stream? Musefi! Hey, how are you? Cloud Dancer's here too. Glad you guys can make it. Okay, now, this is the part that I don't get too well. There, I guess it's coming out.
Not terrible. Not not great, but not terrible. I'm gonna go with back there with that base coat a little bit and blend this middle part. And then I need a real silver. Where is it? Hmm. I can find my good silver when I need it. Drop it on the floor. I don't know. Yes, no. I need to buy more air silver so that I have like several pots of it lying around. But I probably stuck it in this whole thing over here. Ooh. Watch, I'll just like relax and then it'll show up. Oh, I just I just found it. That is what happens. Here it is. Shiny. Yes, it is super shiny. That's why I like it. Watch what happens. So we're going to put that here and then on the edge. Hmm, we need to make it more blendy right here. Better, much better. Eh. It's not, it's not what I like. I mean, I don't, I'm being picky. And then we'll go over this part. Here we go. Yeah, not terrible. And I'm gonna make the inside of this part a little bit darker right here. I feel like I should have done that reversed. Does anybody have any suggestions? Maybe I should reverse it so that the, the um, light should be, I feel like the light's kind of hitting that spot. I'm not really sure. I'll give 10 stars to anybody who tells me if this looks correct. Which of this? Right here, we've got, so I've got the dark parts of this axe here and here. And I don't know if that's where the light would actually refract or whatever. Are you trying to win a star, Mike? <laughs> uh, no. I can give myself stars if I want. <laughs> True. Good to you? Okay. It looks okay. Definitely looks sharp. I mean... Okay. The gold's gonna be easier. Um, I'm gonna use this bright bronze. Actually, no. I'm gonna go straight to brass balls. It actually says that. That's not... I didn't make that up. You think the bottom would be light? So, here's my light source up here. And it's hitting this part first and so I figured that that part would be shadow because my lights coming from this end not a problem unless you think it's yeah I'm not doing it for competitions for you guys <laughs> I just don't want to give you inferior products 
That is too much. Oh my goodness. Look at how much that out. So, and I'm going to switch brushes because this is probably not the best brush for this. I am going to, this is sort of a cheapo brush. Get them like a whole bunch for $10. And I'm just going to kind of tap sort of a dry brushy look. Ah, I just spilled. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. Ooh. Look at the monitor right now. You can see the shading. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, it does look good. Hmm, it looks better on the monitor than it does to me. <laughs> that is a good uh that is a good gauge. Give him five points. Razar BR. Mike, uh -huh. five points to Rizar BR for being giving me good advice to look at the monitor. Rare steak. <laughs> that was good advice. I should try that more often is like look what look what I'm doing on the monitor and see if it looks good. See how that brown like now that becomes now the shadows of your gold and it makes that gold really pop now. I don't mind that at all. And by doing this as sort of a controlled dry brush, like I said, we, we preserve some of those dark tone from the brown. And I also give it sort of a um, sort of a beaten metal texture, which looks kind of cool on a minotaur. You with me, Mike? Yep. Gotta make sure he's not sleeping. Yeah, it does look like old gold and I like that. Oop, I just got someone's arm. We'll get that. that up now before I forget. Yeah, don't they look nice? Um, I'm gonna switch brushes again and go with a smaller brush. It seems like it has a little bit more control. Yeah, that's much better. Cat hair. Arr, cat hair. Here we go. We got a cat hair emote.
You're struggling with sleeping. I'm sorry, am I being boring? I'm trying. Mike's trying not to sleep too. He's not even paying attention. I'm paying attention. <laughs> Collect the cat hair and make my own brushes. <laughs> yes. And then he's got... Ooh, we missed a ring over here. There. How are we on time, Mike? 8.36. Okay. When do you want to do the drawing? We should do the drawing um, before we end the stream, for sure. Well, duh. <laughs> no, I don't know. Maybe 10 minutes before the end? Or yeah, 15? and then just give everybody the extra points that they would get from watching the last 10 minutes. Oh, no, we can keep going after that. Oh, you don't true. have to end the stream when you That's do true. the drawing. And let's do the breach clout now. Um... Demo, thank you so much for the cheer. This is Gnarls Green. Gnarls Green. Yeah, that's awesome. There it goes. Boom. <laughs> okay, so I need to thin this out because I'm looking. There's some nice highlights up here already. I just realized he doesn't have a tail. Do minotaurs have tails? It depends. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Okay. Just depends on your version. We like the green. We're gonna we're gonna add some other bright colors here pretty soon. I, think I need more red. Every time I think I've got that red, it dries and then it's not as vivid as I thought it was gonna be. Like the green? Okay. Good. I'm glad. We're gonna add some more highlights to the green and pop it out some.
pretty happy with that red. Hopefully that will stay nice and vivid for me. I think the D&D &D ones tended to have a tail, but the IIRC Dragonlance <laughs> ones didn't. What? IIRC. What does that mean? If I recall. If I recall? Correctly. Okay. I didn't know what that meant. I Sorry. never know what that meant. If I recall correctly. Ah, okay. Can't believe you're laughing at me. I thought you, that's like, you know. That's like LOL. You should know what that meant. Yeah. Such a noob. Noob. I like it. Meep. Looks pretty fierce. Hey, we got a follower. Arrow Dash is not following. Hey, Dax. Arrow Dash. No, no, I was saying hello to Drax. Oh. Hi, Arrow Dash. Thank you so much for following. Here we go. Thank you. And hello to Drax, who just joined the channel as well. Yay, cat hairs. <laughs> okay. Um, what should we do with his mane? I think I want to go with that purpley color. Let's see, let me see if I've got more Arbuckle's brown. Such a pretty color. That's a good point. The original uh, Minotaur is a bullheaded man, so theoretically. Oh. So this is more of a satyr then, I guess. Would you say? No. No? Just a, it's a different version of a Minotaur. Okay. It's like, you know, when you make up something, it can be whatever you want it to be. True. So I guess if it's a minotaur with a tail, it's more like an anthropomorphic bull than a minotaur. Ah. You could make that argument, maybe, if you want to be pedantic. There's different <laughs> kinds. Isn't there different kinds of anthropomorphic? Like you can have different... Different versions. Right, that's not nearly dark enough for me, so I'm going to mix some of this blue in here to make it a more of a deep purple. That looks cool. Much better. Echo! And who just gave me a cheer? I just heard a cheer. Whoa! Give my band chomp chomp cheered. <laughs> that's awesome. Charity for extra life. Aw, that's great. That's right, I forgot that Twitch was doing that. Great. I'm glad you guys like this stream. Echo, how have you been? I don't know if you have any tickets, Echo, but we're give doing this giveaway. We're doing this Minotaur as a giveaway. Echo is my first mod from the channel. And then he started working full time. Oh, I see what the problem is here. What's the problem? 
but now we need to paint these. Uh, she's got, he's got some. Ah, wrong oh. window. You're just talking to yourself. What are you saying? Nothing. There's <laughs> hoof hair down here. Cool, but I shall let these lovely people have a better chance. Yeah, it would be kind of rigged if you won, I think. I would definitely have to say that would be kind of easy if you did. Hey. Right. Sabat TC is not following. Ah, oh, awesome. Let me write that down. The bot TC. Woohoo! Thank you so much for the follow. Mm. And also, a little bit of purple in the crevices can look pretty cool with gold. So, you can do a little bit of shading down with that same reddish reddish purplish color I think I need to I'm gonna use m this medium and see if I can make it this is mixing medium by p3 and I'm gonna um, this is an experiment so you're gonna get to see it in action so basically this is like a mixture of matte medium and some other stuff and I'm gonna mix that red paint with it Thin it out to see. Yeah, it, it's interesting, huh? Did you see what I did? I'm, pu I'm putting it up and then I'm wiping off the tops. It stays in the crevices there. Nice. All right. About 12 minutes left. Do you want to give people a two-minute warning? Yeah. And like I said, if you live out of the country and, and out of the U.S., I ask that you split shipping with me. So it's probably going to be seven bucks for you. And because that's like the most it costs to send to something to as far as Australia is, this will be like... I want to say like 14 total and so splitting it's seven and if I don't finish here we'll finish it off stream and I'll send it to you take lots of pictures and stuff too how many entries do we have now is anybody really close to getting enough tick for one ticket? Because I can give you some some points if if you're real close. Yeah, that purple. Ooh, there's a big cat here. You will be guaranteed at least one cat hair with every mini. <laughs> Part of the show. Twenty one people are entered. Yay, you can add it to the car. <laughs> That's awesome. Like I said, there's a pretty good chance of winning in this because there's not that many people who've entered. We've got some blues I'm poking now into the shadows for extra depth. You can see it makes a big difference on him. Get that dark dark purple
Alright, Musefi is one point away from... Oh, wait. Okay, go ahead uh, and give... I think maybe, let me see. Uh... Don't worry, we got you, Musefi. Add a point from Yusefi, so now Yusefi should be able to get it. A ticket. Yep. Hey. So, stop that mouse. I like that dark green. I think that's pretty. I feel like his hair needs to go darker. <laughs> what? What? You should probably put into your like stream announcements you're gonna be doing giveaways, and you have to be watching for a while to get collect your points. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys can't just show up and get the giveaway. All right. This is for my loyal loyal stream watchers. Or at least people have watched for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. A lot of people have. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Getting really close. I got to finish one axe. You ready to do the drawing? We are ready. We are ready. Huh? Yes. All right. You want to do a countdown or something? Um, yeah, hold on. Oh, wait, I think Grimoire Gamer, hurry, Grimoire Gamer, get it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's exclamation tickets, one. <laughs> You've got 20 gold stars. Yeah, Echo's like, give me the model. <laughs> ticket one. Ticket one. Tickets or ticket one? Either one works, apparently. There you go. Yeah. You got a follower? Yusefi just tipped 10 bucks. Oh, Yusefi, thank you so much. Awesome. All right, you want to do a countdown? Okay, countdown. So we do 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, eight, seven 6, six five, 5, 4. It's the slowest countdown three, ever. 3, <laughs> two, 2, the anticipation. 1, one go. Tigress Dark! Yay, Tigress Dark! That's awesome. Girl, you need to whisper me and um, send me your your details. Yay! Yes, you won! <laughs> That's awesome. Rigged Cloud Dancer. <laughs> she had a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rocks. Yeah, yay. Okay, so yeah, whisper me after the show. We will figure out some final touches for you for the Minotaur. I'll put. I'll, I'll find out whether you want them on a gaming base for like D and D, or if you want them on a display base, whatever you want. Yep, send me your deets. Woohoo! I'm gonna write her name down. Tigress Dark. Woohoo! Winner of the raffle of the Minotaur from Spellcrow. There we go. <laughs> so we'll just do a little bit more painting as we close out and um, I will look for somebody to host I 
Yeah, we're gonna make sure that he looks proper angry and, and minotauri before I, I send him out of here. Just so people know, you know, the people that just came in new and stuff, if you want points for future raffles, you get uh, basically a point every 10 minutes that you watch. Yeah. So if you watch, a, usually Shoshi streams are over two hours long, so that's a lot of 12 points. points if you watch a full stream, and then you can get points at other times too. Oh yeah, we're giving out points all the time for being helpful with the yep. channel, and um, you know, we call it extra credit, mm -hmm. and we give out points for lots of things. So there are many, many avenues to get them. Yay. All right, let me look for somebody to host. I can make it which. My computer being slow now. Probably the stream is slowing it up. Yep, you shouldn't watch the stream on that computer while you're <laughs> painting. Okay. You're hosting the Bug King. Is he on? Uh, oh no, I think Darth Trollin's suggesting. Mm. So I misread that. No, I'll find somebody. I need to get my computer to work. Okay, now it's working. Fancy unicorn. We're gonna we're gonna host her. She's got nine viewers, guys. I want you gotta spam her mad love. Lots of hearts to her. She is a brand new streamer and she is really cool. And I want you guys to uh, say mad love from Shoshi's Minis when we hop in her channel. Let's see, make sure I don't mess this up. E H A N C E E Unicorn. She's a really cool girl. All right, guys. See you on Friday.